Hey guys, it's Amber here. Thank you so, so very much for joining me today. And today is a fun recipe plan with me. I haven't done one of these in so long and I have so many recipes that not only do I want to share, but that me and my family have been trying and loving. And this is a newer recipe. I've been using it for about six months and I can say it's a winner, winner chicken dinner. <laughs> and it is a main course so i'm gonna go to my main dishes section and i'm gonna pull out this is blue and it's called a creamy a spicy creamy tomato pasta and i got it just on youtube and it was just like a regular meal that had like dairy in it but because we are vegan i veganize it and i typically do this and it's super easy to do if you're vegan, you know, to like switch it over. So I'm gonna share everything that I've done to switch it to being vegan. Like I said, I got it from YouTube and it's, the original recipe was for two people, but I have actually quadrupled this recipe because we like it so much. And that is the um, recipe that I'll be writing down for today. We like it so much that we, when I make it, I always make enough for not only like so we have leftovers, but it will be lunch for two days after I make this meal. So you can clearly see we really, really love this recipe. So I'm going to dive right in and I'll be right back. I'm back guys and I pulled out jewel tone boxes because I needed boxes that were going to match this cute little color up here and I also pulled in my Pigma Micron pins and this is a, a 08 and this is a 02 so I am going to write cream spicy creamy tomato pasta and I'll be back Of just writing a spicy creamy tomato pasta I wanted to write what kind of pasta that I'll actually be using and it's penne so I am now gonna go fill in the size so this is definitely serving size for eight since I quadrupled the recipe and the main ingredient is definitely penne pasta and the difficulty of this this is such a simple recipe it's like beyond simple and prep time let's see usually when I start cooking this I get my big pot of water to boil the penne to boil and I usually put it on high usually gets it about 10 minutes to get the water to be like in a rapid boil and then it takes 13 minutes to get al dente pasta so cook time is 25 to 30 minutes and prep time i do everything completely from scratch and i say my prep time is probably about five minutes temperature I don't really think I need that well hmm, probably on a medium temperature like the the pan well for the boil you want it to be hot to actually cook the pasta you want it to be on a medium medium flame and then notes I'll do that later and usually I serve this. My family really like, I make this like garlicky kale, which is like, I make a garlic paste and then I like massage the kale and then I let it sit for about 10 minutes and then it's ready to eat. So, um, garlic kale and then, or I serve it with a garlic broccoli you see there's a um, <laughs> trend here garlic broccoli let's see if I can 
can actually fit this. Or I serve it with a lot of different things. Usually I serve it with asparagus. Asparagus or what my son loves just to eat it with cabbage. Or with cabbage. And if you really want to get your carbs up, you can serve it with some crustinis. So I'll be back and I'm going to lay down two boxes for my ingredients list and then also write down my ingredients and then I'll come back and I'll go through what those ingredients are. So I'll be back. <laughs> that took me so long to write it was ridiculous and that is because I had to convert so many things that I didn't like realize that I hadn't already converted over so I use one 16 ounce bag of penne I just realized I wrote something really funny and water and then one finely chopped onion a half a cup of olive oil a fourth cup of garlic two cups of almond milk 12 ounces of tomato paste, two teaspoons of red chili flakes, two teaspoons of black pepper. I actually use like double the amount of pepper and that's because we like a lot of pepper in our food. So if you don't like too much pepper because I've quadded this meal, you can definitely omit the pepper or take down the pepper. A fourth teaspoon red chili powder, two tablespoons of butter, a half a cup of parm cheese, and we use follow your heart, which is vegan, and then four basil leaves. I didn't have enough room to write chopped, but of course we would then chop our basil leaves. We reserve a cup of pasta water for the pasta sauce. So you actually, in the recipe, you're gonna need um, a cup of uh, pasta water for your pasta. Since you're making your sauce completely from scratch, I'm going to go in and bullet point all these items. I was going to try to use like some cute stickers, but I'm now seeing because I needed enough room to write. There was no way for me to do that. So I'm just going to bullet point everything because like I've said before, my son is the one who wanted me to write this all out for him. So I just want to make sure that when he goes to read this later on in life, he'll actually be able to read it. Let's see. There is a book, a book that has pasta in it. Let me see if I can find it. Let's see. I am gonna put family favorite. Maybe I should do another color. What other color should I mix with it? Maybe green. This is like one of my family's like new favorite things. I think I'm gonna do green and I'm gonna put it here because I am making this probably twice a month now because that's how much my family loves this. It's originally like taken from creamy vodka recipe, I believe, and then the person that I got it from altered it to just be a spicy pasta without the vodka, and then I completely veganized it. And trust, I do it all the time. I've even done it with my mom's recipes that I love. There's this one that I always make and my brother is like, can you make it? Can you make it? <laughs> Even if you like have like allergies or you have like gluten allergies, like I've made this with like regular pasta and I've also made it with wheat pasta. So you could definitely make it gluten free if you have a gluten allergy 
or um, you know if you're trying to cut your carbs you can definitely do like rice pasta never be intimidated to like change up your recipe if need be I'm also going to pull in this because maybe I'll put it down here let me actually wait because I don't want to put it in and I need that space to like write another note before I'm done so before I go and decorate I am going to write down my instructions and then I will be back <music> a little bit longer than I anticipated. Here's all my whole thing laid out and what I forgot to put here, which I'm going to put here. I mean, I could wipe this out. Hmm. It's just going to, it's so hard to write one. Let me actually just see. Let me just do this. So I just put almond milk in if you don't drink almond milk, you drink regular milk, you know, cow's milk. Almond milk can come like sweetened and unsweetened. You definitely want to use unsweetened almond milk. Okay, kind of went in and fixed it. It looks a little muddied here, but my son definitely knows what it is. So how the recipe goes, bring a big pot of water to boil, wrap it boil, Put in your salt, cook your pasta according to the pasta instructions in a pot because you don't want to cook this in a pan because like I said, I quadded this on a medium flame, warm olive oil once warm, add in onions until they become fragrant and then add in garlic until they become light brown. Then you add in your tomato paste and you stir and you cook for about three minutes trying to incorporate that tomato paste with the oil and the onions and garlic and then you're going to add in all your dry seasonings the chili flakes black pepper and red chili powder and you're going to want to cook it until you can like start to smell those spices which is um a couple more minutes and then you want to stir it continuously then you're going to add in the almond milk and completely incorporate with the pasta sauce and then you add in your butter and you stir it in and you, then you add in your reserved water and then you stir it up because your pasta is, sauce is almost ready. If you're using regular cheese, you won't need to whisk it, but I add in how the recipe goes. They typically add in the pasta and then they add in the cheese to like incorporate but because we use a vegan cheese it takes a little bit longer for it to melt and it's I've seen that with using this particular recipe it's actually better if I put in the cheese first before the pasta because then the cheese will have a t have time to actually melt so if you're using this recipe and you're using regular cheese you can add in your pasta and your cheese at the same time completely incorporate it and you're going to be fine but if you're using the vegan cheese you want to definitely put it in first and you want to use a whisk i've tried to use like a flat spatula or like a rubber spatula or like a wooden spoon nothing works like the whisk let me actually add this cook another can I spell? I, I'm one of those people I'm always messing up. It doesn't matter if I'm copying it like verbatim. I always mess up. <laughs> Three, two, one. another three to five minutes because you want the cheese to melt and then lastly you're going to add in your penne pasta stir it up let it sit for a minute or two because you want that pasta sauce to kind of 
set a little bit and then you're ready to serve. The recipe calls for you to just put the bay, not the bay leaf, the basil leaves, just like sprinkle a little bit on top of the pasta. But what I like to do is just chop up all the leaves, put it in the big pot of pasta and completely incorporate it because then you get all those like really fragrant, fresh like herbs from that basil. It's so, so yummy. And then of course you're gonna just enjoy it. So this is what my recipe looks like. I just want to add in that one sticker. Let's see. I th I'm almost positive it's in this book. Yep, right here. So I'm gonna just put this here and then I'm also gonna put it with these like little breads with butter because that's what we typically serve with so this is like my family's new family favorite let's see if there's anything else I want to add just in case it would be cute to add like a cute little heart because we honestly really really love this particular recipe Let's change up plans. Eat well, travel often. I don't have anywhere to actually put that. <laughs> Feed me food and tell me I'm pretty. Isn't that what we all want? <laughs> oh, I know I don't have to put this, but like my son, he really, like he's like this isn't too spicy honestly well for us it's not too spicy but my son he's weird he's not a kid that really likes spaghetti but he really loves penne pasta particularly and this is where this meant this came from because I me and my husband love spaghetti and I make my spaghetti just like my mom did but my son was just he was not having it. He was like, yeah, no. So I'm gonna put this on here. So when he is older and he has kids, he knows it's kid friendly. He should know it's kid friendly because he's a kid right now and loves it. So the books I used were the recipe food. I didn't use this food book. And then I also use jewel tone boxes unfortunately it's unavailable also used my pigma micron pens in 02 and 08 and of course my handy whiteout this is probably like the thing i use the most if you like this you should definitely give me a thumbs up like subscribe comment click the notification i promise i'm gonna try to bring at least one recipe a month out here <laughs> on my channel i know i've promised that before and i have not been very consistent i'll say and that's because i've been doing too many hauls y'all anyways thank you again for joining me and remember to have a beautiful one Thank you.